Browns free agent news, which is where we got to start because, guys, well, all the first of a sudden breaking now, news in the NFL because Derek Carr signed with the Saints. No, he hasn't signed. Well, it's he's, unofficial. He's agreed to terms. Yeah. They've agreed um, to terms. And, and I just heard on the NFL Network moments ago that, that they're just the leading contender. That, oh. That, that, that that's it. So we got to be careful. It's not. And even well, this says, and they've emerged as the front runner. It, everyone else is saying it's essentially done. We'll wait yeah, till the, the NFL Network, done, kept, they, they couched it this way. That he knows their four-year offer. The Jets are working on a, on a counter. Oh. So until the hay is in the barn right. on this. They're making it, it seem like it's over. Yeah, I, the first reports that I heard early this morning was like it was done. Yeah. Now, obviously, he can't sign the contract yet. Well, he can because I don't, he was cut. Oh, no, no yes, he can. He's yeah. cut. He's different. He's not in the yeah. free agent class. Um, he, I guess what they're waiting on is the Jets' offer to see whether or not the Jets are going to counter. The Jets obviously need a quarterback, and they were said to be in on it. Yeah. But the NFL Network's guys just 15, 20 minutes ago um, – we're saying that it looks like it's going to be Saints, and it nope, likely will the Saints, be. From Ian Rapport, Saints are giving Derek Carr a four-year four year deal. Source said with the big QB number coming, they'll make it work within their current cap situation. So. Right. Giving him, he, the key language is, has accepted. And I don't see that language anywhere. And that's what the NFL Network was saying. Hold on, guys. Uh, it's not done. Until you see this, okay, I, Derek yeah. Carr signs with Saints, it's open. We've learned this before in these negotiations. It looks like the players go in some place, and then a team ponies up at the last minute. Kind of like the Giants. What's the kid do? Signed the contract with the Giants. It was like, uh, no. Well, that was a failed physical. That was that was a little different. He had. They oh, had and then the Mets, and then he had, and eventually went right, right, right. The okay, so but we'll it looks talk like about it's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, we're going to focus mostly on this free agent talk on the on the positions that the Browns are most interested in. And obviously, Fletcher Cox now is a name that's out there, mm -hmm. as is Brandon Graham. And so let's mm -hmm. start there because mm -hmm. those are the two most likely, or at least one of those two is most likely, because of the familiarity with Schwartz and those two players. I can't imagine either of you are going to say no on Brandon <laughs> Cox. No, a Fletcher Cox. Fletcher, Fletcher Cox, Graham. I'm sorry. Brandon I, Graham's a different yeah. story. I'm not a go on Brandon. I, I'm, a, I'm a definite go on Fletcher Cox. I'm Brandon fine Graham, with either of those guys. I don't know about Brandon. I don't know about Graham. He, I think he's older, and I just, I, I, when I watch Fletcher Cox, I still see the explosion in the motor that you want at that position. Um, I, I, will, I, I, I think they can both still play. I, I, I think if Brandon Graham it, it, it is at this point is, is he better than Alex? Wright? Well, he's better than what we have, but yeah, the, the question is going to be how the price. Well, how much money, yeah. right? Yeah, but I. The, the, Guys like that are interesting in spots like defensive tackle and linebacker because you don't have to make a long-term commitment. Right. Um, well, it wouldn't. Not I mean, guy. Brandon Graham had – Oh, he had 11 sacks? Coming off – Yeah. Well, remember, torn, though, he's playing in a line that had 70. Geez. So, there were holes everywhere. Yeah. And there's going to be guys that feast because of that. I, hey, I look, hear you. I just think – I, 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 I know – I was reading an article about him on PFF, and they were – they were amazed by how well he played. So you still like him? He graded out well. Fletcher Cox, certainly I would like more. I would love Fletcher but Cox. But I'm fine with either of them. And between those guys and Eric Kendricks, who got cut by the Vikings today at linebacker, these are a lot of – these are guys that the Browns could go after that are perfect pieces for what the Browns are looking for. Mm -hmm. yeah. Veteran leadership, guys that have won, especially the Eagles guys have won. Mm -hmm. They know Schwartz. Kendrick, I assume, knows Stefanski because he's been in Minnesota forever. Eric Kendrick still at 30 or 31, whatever he is, was, according to PFF, one of the top 15 run-stopping linebackers mm, yeah. in the league, he just, which is exactly what they need. He gets 100 tackles a year, Yeah, he's a he? classic old-school middle linebacker. Yeah. I'm sure DeQuell loves will Follows love him. the ball and gets to the carry. I think if the Browns can get Kendricks and one of those two guys, either Cox or Graham, that's – to, to me, those are home run additions yeah. because they're guys that are proven. You know what they're capable of. I want of. Bates, too. I, if you throw in Bates on the oh, back now end, you're, uh, I'm now getting you greedy. Want you know <laughs> why? Greedy. Here's why I'm getting greedy. Because I listened to G on Friday, and G's like, the hell with it. I want this. I want that. I'll give you that. I'll give me this. You have to. I look hard. So all if in. that's what we're doing, yeah. and we're going to shoot for the stars and spend his money, yeah. and that's what we're doing, yeah. then let's do it. I mean, if that's what we're going to do, then let's do it. I mean, if they end up with – with Cox, Kendricks, Bates, and Brandon Cooks via trade, that's a home run off season. They're right ready there. for the season, and they're yeah. automatically a contender in this yeah. division. And you look at it, I like to pair young guys with old guys. Yeah, it's a nice I, mix. I like to mix because I'm not going to ask Brandon Graham to play 
70 snaps. No. I'm going to ask you to give me 25 of your best third down reps you can give me. I don't even really think Fletcher Cox going to be playing all that much. That's why I got a guy like Perry on Winfrey that can mix and match. Maybe if you could get something out of, uh, I don't know if Togi eyes will be worth nothing, but you Isaiah might, Thomas. I, Isaiah Thomas. Maybe, those guys maybe. will make them better. And, and plus, you can still go And Jim draft. Schwartz will make them better, too. Yes. Jim Schwartz will make them better. Those guys will make them better. And I think guys like that, seasoned veteran winners, will make even Miles Garrett better. What I like about Fletcher Cox is he's going to be a guy that comes in and sets a tone right away. That's right. Guys, we're mean, we're yeah. nasty, and we're working hard. Yes. Period. End of discussion. And they don't have that guy right now. No. And, and the best part about it is guys that have that have tasted the Super Bowl, right? Mm -hmm. Right. They've yeah. tasted it. They've Same been thing there. with Bates. They've won. They some they've won. They close. They're not gonna take none of that. They're gonna come in there. And Jim Schwartz is gonna say, guys, these are the tone setters. These are my guys. They know what to do, and they know exactly the way I want to play it. And everybody will fall in line. I love the fact it, that the, you could get some of these guys. Yeah. What on if you can only get deal? one of the four names we just mentioned? Which one do you want? <gasps> Well, I'd take Fletcher Cox. I would say Cox I would too. one. Uh, yeah. yeah, I would take Fletcher Cox. I would say well. Cox one. It I, fills the biggest hole that we have. Yes, uh, and then, but I think they're all. I think I would definitely go Cox one, and then either Brandon Graham or or Kendricks two. Okay, I have Kendricks two, Bates yeah. three, Graham four. I love Bates. Am and I, I off G Bush? No, nah, I, I like. I like. If you gonna give me a couple of these dudes and I can find them, I don't mind spending on Bates then. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Right. Because now. I, you, you got a nice high price guy back there. You solidify that. Plus, you're getting some run stopping ability. I like the fact that now you're yeah. starting to see the well, names pick up. If you add Cox or Graham and then Kendricks and then Bates and the perfect, you know, uh, thing that would make everybody happy, right? Now you've added a proven veteran at all three levels, a guy who's a leader at all three levels, and in the case of the Eagles guys and Bates at least, guys who have been to the Super Bowl. And in the Eagles' case, guys who have won the Super Bowl. Let me ask you this, because you know their defense so well. Yeah. If the Browns were to add three of those four names, yeah. would it would would their would you like their defense better than the Bengals? It's a good question. Um, depends on if the Bengals lose. Right? It depends. You know. Uh, what well, the, I think we know what's going to happen. Well, there. the Bengals have uh, three guys who are free agents right now: one right. linebacker, and then both their safeties are free agents on yep. defense. Um. If, if they lose the Bates, by the way, the Bates, they've shown no effort at all to resign. No, Bates. They're, they're not going to sign Bates. The, uh, the Browns are already better at corner than the Bengals. Uh, the Bengals right now have a much better defensive line than the Browns. But obviously, if they added Fletcher Cox, it'd be improved. I still think the Bengals would have the better D line because you only have you'd still only have more. two legitimate starters. Uh, I think linebacker would be close. Yeah, but I, think I mean, the Miles, Browns Garrett, Miles Garrett is kind of, you know, Miles Garrett's better than anybody on the Bengals. No doubt, front no doubt. Uh, I think it would be close. I think it, they would be neck and neck. Yeah. I, I would have to see how what else the Browns did and what else the Bengals yeah. did. But that alone would make it neck and neck. The consensus sure. is, though, if you add two, three of these names, you have drastically improved your defense, which mm -hmm. was the weakness last year, and yeah. you've really addressed – the hemorrhage wound, which was the defensive line. Yeah. You've gotten better at the two coaching positions that were talked about yep. all season long. That's right. And not just better. I think home runs at both. I agree. You got a former head coach and a terrific defensive coordinator in one. And in the other, in Ventrone, you've got a guy that we've heard home run yeah. was yeah. the way it was described to Gee, us. I think we've got Phil Jay we've on the Kool-Aid right now. We've sold He is him. excited. This is the first time I've seen excited Browns fan You're Jay right. in a long time. Hey, You're right. He's, he's excited right he's now. You know why? Because I listened to G. Bush <laughs> on Friday, and G. was like, you get a car, and you get a car, and you get a car. They have to. So The listen, Browns have to do that. I've always subscribed to the idea that fiscal responsibility is very <coughs> important. Yeah. But if we're not, if we're going to pretend that, that that bylaw of the yeah. NFL no longer exists, and here's the other thing, and from now on, if we're going to kill the Dolans for not writing checks, I think Jimmy and D. Haslam open themselves up to a 100%. whole new can of, of criticism when they decided they were going to take nearly $1 billion. And by the way, the amount now is in question. Yeah. But let's just It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Right now, the, the, the reported figure is $875 million, but there are those with the bucks saying it wasn't Who that Who cares? Much. Even if it's $500 million, it's a ton of money. If you're going to tell me that Jimmy and D. Haslam have the kind of money that they can just write an $875 million check yeah. to be 
part minority owners of another team. That's yeah. crazy. Then, then you damn well have the money to stick in whatever it costs here. That's right. To give us what this city deserves, a winner. That's 100% correct. And I know I'll, I'll speak for G because I know he's going to agree with me here. If if the Browns don't go bananas this offseason adding talent, I'm freaking killing Jimmy. And I'm killing the whole organization. And they deserve there is it. There's no excuse. You're right. You yeah. put, you yeah. went, you jumped in the 10-foot deep level of the pool by trading for Deshaun Watson. You can't half-ass it now. Nope. You waste that investment. That's right. If you don't you put doing? the pieces around him that he's going to need right. to get him back to his Houston level, yes. then you wasted that $230 100%. million deal. And I read, by the way, in Mary Kay's column, you know. Which is great. It, read which it. Is great column, great tidbits. information. But the one thing I didn't like, and this is just Mary Kay's opinion, is that while they said, they're they're gonna sign. They're not gonna probably not gonna sign Ethan Pochich because he's gonna be too expensive. Yeah. I don't want to hear that. I know well, part of no, it is no, they no, believe in Nick Harris. Part, yeah, the second part of that was they believe that Nick Harris is a starting and that's fine, center. But I don't want to hear about a single player being too expensive. And you know what? Nobody. Here's the other thing. Because you're right. But if Harris isn't as good as Pochich, right? Then we got a problem. Yes, we, we've got a problem. For for me, I, I when I when you go get these free agents, and I just want to be transparent with everybody out yeah. there. Two of these guys could be no good. One of them could be hurt the rest of the year. Another guy could come in. And yeah, you never know. It happens. And, and this is where we're at, though. And so sometimes you're going to have to be okay with being uncomfortable or, or have a question mark on whether what's the return on investment on these one-year deals. However, you got to do it. You, you, you behind the eight ball. You can't go into the season. You got to go L.A. Rams mode. <coughs> I, I really believe you yes. do. And, they've, and really – the biggest piece of what the Rams did was the quarterback piece. That's right. And now the Browns have done it at a very similar cost, <coughs> more dollars long term. Right. But you're in this. No. And I like the way you put it. Yeah. You're in the 10-foot deep end. You're now. already in. You better sink or swim. And one one way or another, right. you're all in. And once they traded for Stafford, what did they do? They didn't back off. No. no. They, they got they added all the other pieces. They traded they for needed. Von Miller. They Von did Miller whatever the they had piece. to do. Yep. And, yeah, they're going to pay for it. I get it down the line, but and there's no guarantee that Listen, the Browns are going to win a Super Bowl, but Bull, yeah, it's worth it. Every fan in this city, we were going to talk last week, which I thought was absurd. We were saying, which would you rather have? The Browns win the Super Bowl, right? but don't go for 50 years. But I think suck the rest it. of the time, and basically. And suck the rest of the time. <coughs> yeah. And the other one was they make the playoffs 40 out of the 50 years, but never win a Super Bowl. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, we've already lived one of those. But in we didn't 80s. get the Super Bowl. Right, right, right. <coughs> we, we've That's lived no good. one of those. Listen, so, I'm telling you, Jay, I've had a ball watching the Bengals the last two years. A I ball. bet you have. But if they don't win the Super Bowl, it's all worth nothing. you got to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. The Browns, I don't care about getting the playoffs. When you haven't gone in a while, it's exciting to make the playoffs. It playoff. was nice. And it was fun when they ago. did. Yeah. And you could deal with that for a couple of years. But eventually, no matter how bad your team was, no matter how long they were bad for, if you consistently make the playoffs, you've got to break through and win a championship gotta win. or you're left unsatisfied. Yeah, go ahead. Make I got nuggets. three things real quick. Derek Carr tweeted out, happy to be a uh, saint. So, so it's done. Okay. It's done. So now we can yeah. report it. Yeah. We did ask the internet real quick. And whenever you ask the internet a question, it's brought to us by PCC Airfoils. Looking for a job with career advancement and great benefits? PCC Airfoils is the leading manufacturer in Northeast Ohio. All locations of PCC Airfoils in East Lake Men or Wycliffe and Minerva are hiring for all positions starting at $18 and up, plus full benefit packages, paid time off, and a signing bonus. You can apply online at precast.com slash careers to learn more. We asked them, given the choice of just Fletcher Cox or Brandon Graham, who would you want to see the Browns bring in? Significantly aligned yeah. with us, it's Fletcher Cox. That's it's not close. Real <coughs> quick, for you guys, before we bring to Quellen, though, what percentage chance would you say on the reality scale is there of the Browns signing all four? Bates, Cox, 5%. Uh, Graham, and Eric Kendricks. There's, there's 31 other teams. What about so three, five? though? Three of the four. Well, they're not going to sign Cox and, and Graham. That's not realistic. They're not going to no. get No. Uh, even if they were to sign three. Well, they might. I mean, if Jim Schwartz knows their value as a tandem. Sure. He might. I mean. But, but I there's just, other I, guys. Like, we're naming some names. But there's other. It's not like those are the only guys out there. No, they're, these are the names that kind of line up. Yes. Um, Cox, Cox and Graham with the connection to, to Schwartz tells me that where there's smoke, there's fire. There, that's that's. I think it's there's a good chance they'll get one of those two. No doubt. But I we also have to remember there's 31 other teams. Of course. And they have needs too. And they have, and capital. They have money. Yeah. So it's it's you know it's really hard to say. We can sit here in our dream world and say yeah, give us Kendricks, Cox, Graham, Bates, and Cooks. 
Right. Like, okay, if we get those guys, yeah, we're an instant contender. Yeah. But the, the, by the way, I it's going to be difficult. To I, do the that. more I think about it, without unless there's a name that comes out of nowhere, right. like a great receiver that ends up getting traded that we're not expecting. At the moment, it looks like none of the top 10, 15 receivers are changing teams right now. Well, so I, well, Cooks. We, we, well, we, I don't think he's top 10 or 15 oh, receivers. You, uh, yeah, I think he's you're just, right. Yeah, no, he's, he's a not. little below that. Yeah, he's, he's a top, top 25. Yeah, top, top 25, 25, definitely. But so you'd have two top 25 guys, which is yeah. good. You'd rather, you'd love to have a top. You can 10. win with two. You can yeah. win with two top 25 guys, especially when you have an elite back, a pretty good tight end. But I think Cooks is the best guy they can get. And I went back and looked at his numbers and. In terms of yards per game, because he missed a couple of games <coughs> the year. He only played with Deshaun Watson for one year. But it was the most yards per game he had in his career was the year with Deshaun Watson. Now, he mm. missed a couple of games, so his total numbers yards per game weren't now. as high. Yeah. And outside of last year, he had never missed more than, I think, two or three games in a season. Last year, they were having an issue there. He was unhappy. I think he's a great fit. And I wouldn't stop there. I want to add another. Give me one of these free agent wide receivers. One of these guys who's like a lottery ticket. There's okay. potential. I've got, a, I've got a name for you. Yeah. And don't scoff me right out of the okay. room like I know you're both going to do. <laughs> because I would have scoffed me out of the room okay. a week ago. Now, wait. Before you say it, is it's in addition to a guy like Cooks. You're yes. Saying. Okay. Yes. Fine. Before you say it, It's Jay. a total flyer. Flyer? Okay. It's a no... There's, there's no risk involved in this at all. Man. Jay, I'm bringing Josh Gordon to camp. Yes, go.